Hi friends, today we will see about Prince Metal Angina, often called as Variant Angina or Angina Inversa. It's a coronary vasospastic angina uh, characterized as episodic angina pectoris in association with ST segment elevation on ECG in absence of uh, high grade coronary artery stenosis. This occurs usually at rest, often between midnight and early morning hours. This vasospastic state is mostly focal at a single site. This spasm occurs uh, normal or mildly diseased coronary vessels uh, in absence of any preceding myocardial oxygen demand. Transient ischemia is responsible for these angina symptoms. MI and life-threatening arrhythmia are believed to occur in 25% of untreated patients. This variant angina can be associated with uh, vasospastic disorders such as Raynaud syndrome and migraine headaches. This Prince metal angina mostly seen in people below 50 years of age, females and Japanese population. Major risk factors such as smoking, cocaine use, uh, gateware uh, balloon dilatation, ephedrine based medications and magnesium deficiency. Then the diagnosis. The diagnosis may be challenging because uh, Coronary angiogram mostly shows normal coronary vessels. We can do stress tests for monitoring ST elevation and intracoronary uh, provocation tests. It is usually done in cath lab. Next, the management. Uh, high dose of aspirin and the beta blockers are contraindicated in Prince metal angina because the beta blockers may worsen such attacks by blocking some beta 2 receptors that produce vasodilatory effects. We can give calcium channel blockers for prevention in long-term management and nitroglycerin in acute settings. I hope you enjoy my class. Thanks for watching.